Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. So we thought we'd show you the correct stack on an aileron. Uh, this is on a 78 Tiger. So you have your aileron stop bracket. This is what constrains the um, counterweight uh, bars that determines the throw on your aileron. And so the correct stack for this is, this is our aileron bearing bracket. So now the bracket goes, the stop bracket goes through the bearing bracket. And then on this particular airplane, there are four half shims. Sometimes there'll be two full shims, sometimes one, sometimes none. The shims all go on. You make sure you get the bottom of the shims over that rivet. And then we line it all up, throw in a washer, and then a walking nut. And the four shims, this is gonna be tough. There we go. That's the easy one. The tough one is the bottom one because you got to wiggle everything and you got to kind of line everything up as you kind of meander along. There we go. We're all the way through now. Put the rest of our hardware on. But anyway, that's the correct stack. You always want the aileron stop bracket to be closest to the torque tube followed by the bearing bracket and then whatever shims you need to make it line up even with the back of the uh, back of the wing rig. So we hope you found this informative and uh, take a look at yours next time you have your wing tip off and uh, have a good day flying your drumming. Thanks for watching.